Annie is a subject no one wants to talk about, but tonight the Spokane School District is calling the community together, hoping no other teen in our community will choose to end their own life. Last year in all of Spokane County, the medical examiner's office reported five teen suicides. Already this year, at least five young people have ended their lives, including two just last week. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you with how the community is coming together to just say no more. Katie? Nadine, the Spokane Public Schools community has been rocked by these tragedies in recent weeks, and nobody wants it to end more than students. In fact, the principal over at North Central High School tells me that after one of the recent tragedies, a total of 14 students came up to him asking how they can help. Walking down a crowded high school hallway, how can you tell who is having thoughts of suicide? We're talking about somebody's safety, somebody's life, and especially those people that we're close to that we care about. Um, it, it's one of the most challenging subjects really in our society. Sabrina Votava with the Youth Suicide Prevention Program says the first step to intervening is to look at the facts. How are they feeling, acting, changes in behavior, threats of suicide, and situation? and never stop asking. If we avoid it, it doesn't help the issue. So just knowing it's safe to ask about suicide. Sabrina knows the pain and loneliness that comes with losing someone. In 2003, I lost two of my brothers to suicide six months apart. 12 years, a marriage, and two kids later. It doesn't get any easier. A lot that they missed out on that I, that I think if they had, um, you know, stayed one more day and really, maybe it would have made a difference, you know. It's that difference Spokane High Schools hope to make, especially in light of two student suicides just last week. So many folks are really like, what can we do together to help prevent another suicide of a child in our community? North Central High School principal Steve Fisk says although their school hasn't been personally impacted this year, he wants to be proactive. He wants his students to know they have support. I want to make sure that we all look at this as a shared collaboration around the very most important topic. I'm not an expert, you're not an expert, but I think collectively we can build around all our expertise. Sabrina says at the time, her family didn't know what signs to look for, but she knows she can't go back in time. She can only work to educate others. We can't expect them to save themselves. We have to be that one that you know, that reaches out to them and pulls them out. The district is hosting a total of five suicide prevention meetings over the next eight weeks, going over anything from prevention to intervening. If you think a friend or family member needs it, the first of those meetings is tonight at North Central High School at seven o'clock. And the first meeting is tonight. The dates and times for the others are to be determined, but the district will keep you updated on their Facebook page. Nadine? Hmm. Katie, you know, experts say we're very fortunate in this community that offers so much support. Needing a lot of support for teens and adults, even you can even go on Facebook or even text certain hotlines to get that help. We have attached several links and resources on our website at KXLY.com. Reporting in Spokane, Katie Curry, KXLY 4 News.